and welcome back to my channel. My name is Glory Olamide and I would say welcome to everyone who comes regularly and if you are new here, welcome as well and thanks to all who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, do consider joining this family. Yes, um, I'm here to discuss something very important that I think is important to everyone, um, which is about our purpose. You know, sometimes we think we have all the time to fulfill all our purpose. We have all the time to live our dreams, right? We have all the time to fulfill our passions and things like that. However, nobody, nobody actually knows when their time is up. Or do you know when your time is up on earth? Definitely not. No one knows when their time is up. So what is stopping you from actually fulfilling your dreams? What's stopping you from fulfilling your passions? Are you looking at other people and saying, oh, what would they say? You know, what would people say? What, what would people think? Are you living your life by people's opinion? Or are you just going to go out there and live your dreams? What is that desire? What is that deep thing, that passion you have within you that you feel you really would love to do or achieve but for some reason maybe culture your cultural heritage or oh, by culture i'm a woman i'm not meant to do this excuse me i can't do this i can't do that because i'm a woman excuse me my phone is about to go off you know um or you feel your religion what's your religion you know what's why is it holding you back you know, are you thinking about society? Oh, in my society where I come from, you know, this is not allowed or that's not allowed. If you do this or that, it will be frowned upon. So for that reason, you you feel, no, I'll leave it, you know, I'll leave it for another time. You know, how do you know you have another time? You know, how do you know? You, you know, that time you are planning and hoping for, how do you know you are going to live up to that time? No one is saying anybody's going to die young. God has promised us many, many years on earth, 70, 80, and all of that. However, that hasn't stopped people from dying. You know, yesterday, I heard some news, terrible news about somebody who I know, I saw just last week, you know, she's gone the person is gone the person went yesterday morning and it got me thinking about how people keep thinking they have all the time on earth god has given us um, everyone an assignment just be just before we are born we are all equipped and given things to do to come into this world with. However, because of one thing or the other, you know, stress as we grow up, stress, you know, things happen in life, and we just seem to lose a sense of that purpose, you know, that God has given us, each and every one of us is in us, is within us, but life, you know, things happen, and we're like, oh, I can't be bothered you know, to do this, I will just go with the flow, go with the crowd. Everyone is doing this. I'm going to do that as well. You know, I'm told don't do this. I'm going to go by the rules. But we live under grace. We live under grace. This comes with a lot of responsibility. It doesn't mean because we live under grace, we shouldn't um, behave or do things accordingly. We live under the grace of God and God has given us free will. You know, he has given us free will. Some people are waiting for a miracle, something to, a sign to fall from heaven to say, oh, go and do this. This is your, this is what you should be doing. This, no, that there's nothing, it is finished. God has done everything. It's the work has been completed. You know, it's all done. It's complete. There's nothing else left to do. The only thing left to do now is for each and every one of us to get up and fulfill, find out, 
you know, find out what what is it exactly? What am I meant to be doing? And when you discover it, you now start working it out bit by bit, step by step. Take each step at a time. You can't do everything at once. Take it step by step, each step at a time, and that will take you there. You can't, um, your journey needs to have a start, start, okay? You start from somewhere with the end in mind, with the end in mind, and then as you take that journey, you take steps towards that journey, there are people along the way to help you. There are people along the way to help you, you know, there are facilitators along the way because you may not know how or know what to do, where to start from. However, it's always best to start with something, to start somewhere instead of saying, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to do any of this. I'm not going to be bothered about it. I'm just going to live life, you know, do the usual, go to work, come back, have dinner, go to bed, wake up the next day and repeat the same process again. You know, I'm here to challenge you. I work specifically with women and I'm here to challenge you to dare to dream again. You can live your purpose. There's nothing, and I repeat, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, no one can stop you from achieving your dreams. Once you have that in heart, in mind, just commit it to God and say, Lord, help me along the way. This is my, these are my plans. This is what I desire to do yeah, and all of that. Bring my helpers, bring helpers my way. However, don't stop there at praying. You have to put things in place, activities, you know, steps in place, make plans, make phone calls, have meetings, whatever it takes to make sure your dreams come to pass. You must make sure you begin to do it. Um, a popular, there's a popular saying that, I think I heard this from Wayne Dyer, don't die with your music still in you. You have your music in you and you are too scared to play it because you're like, hmm, would that person like it? Is it to their taste? Why are you worried about if it's to anybody's taste? Just play your music. Just be you. Play your music. Don't die with your music still in you. And there's another saying, I think I heard this from, I can't, um, this purple, I can't remember his name now, but he said the graveyard is the richest place on earth because that, that's where you find most talents. Why? Because many people have left this world without. Hello again, my phone. <laughs> The recording just went for some reason. Anyway, we are back. So as I was saying, yes, I'm daring us to live our dreams, live our purposes, and fulfill our potential. All right? That's why I work as an um, empowerment coach. I help women discover their identity, discover who God has created them to be. What is that purpose God has given you? So I help, I help women identify their God-given talents and purpose and gifts and all of that, you know, and then help them map out ways, steps in which they can begin to fulfill, fulfill this desire or dreams they have in their hearts. We do this with, by seeking God with, God's, with God's help and then making sure you are working in the right direction for you, not, for, not to... Um, please anyone else, not to make other people happy. We make sure we are working according to God's plans for you. The God-given desire and purpose he's put in you, we are going to, you know, find it out and then make sure you are led and along the way to begin to fulfill, fulfill these dreams and desires, excuse me. That's why I work as an identity and empowerment coach. And I have a program coming up shortly. It's, going, it's coming up in July, on the 11th of July. And I have three other speakers coming up as well. Very 
good speakers, awesome women, women that will be coming to talk to us. We're talking about various aspects of the woman, the whole woman, the physical aspect, spiritual aspect, and the emotional aspect. This is coming up on the 11th of July, and it will be great to see you there. We have the early bird, early bird ticket on sale now. I will be leaving the description box. I will be leaving the link in the description box rather. After this video, you can click on the link to get your tickets. It'll be great to see you all there and I look forward to seeing you and it'll be nice to see everyone fulfilling their dreams. Remember, you can do it. There's nothing stopping you from fulfilling your dreams because you have been created for a purpose. Till I come your way again, take care. God bless. Bye.